I placed this class of gildings 4231, where I found an easy place to start with the tall framed and most complete black in 4, and ending with the poorest combination of characteristics in 1. In my top pair of 4 over 2, I chose to start with the more modern profiling and structurally correct black. Here is a high quality gelding that stands stronger on a sturdy column of bone. When assessing his front and rear views, he is straighter through his knees and hocks with more ideal pasture and angles, and when he tracks, he is comfortable with more spring to his step. I do appreciate that too showed greater muscle definition in his gaskins. In a closer middle pair of 2 and 3, I started with 2 who is better balanced. He is more proportional through his thirds and has a shorter, stronger top line in relation to a longer and more athletic underline. I grant that 3 is trimmer through his throat latch and neck. Finally, it is 3 over 1 in my final pair, where 3 more closely follows my class leaders and retains an advantage over 1 in terms of quality. He is simply more refined in his features, being shorter from eye to muzzle with a higher tying neck. I do realize that one is more defined in his shoulder muscling. However, not only is the buckskin the coarsest quality and poorest balance of the class, but he stands close and under behind and is over at the knee. Because he is the least complete of the class, he is last. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out our other livestock and horse judging videos at the Alabama Cooperative Extension YouTube channel.